Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the layout of hydroelectric power plant. So let's get started. Now here is the diagram of a layout of a hydraulic power plant. Now this hydraulic power plant would be converting the potential energy of water which is stored at a considerably high level into kinetic energy and that kinetic energy would be utilized to rotate a shaft in order to get the work which is the work done at the shaft. Now as per the diagram which is available with us, here there is a head race. Head race indicates that from a datum up to the level of water which is there inside this reservoir or we can say dam and this height from the bottom or the datum is called as the gross head also called as the total head so at total head we can say that the potential energy of this water is maximum that is up to the surface now the concept is the more this gross head value will be the more amount of work we are going to get at the runner so it means that the reservoir or the dam should be located as high as possible so that the gross head would be a greater value or a maximum value. Next this head race is connected with the help of this pipeline also called as the pen stock and through this pen stock it goes inside this runner with the help of a nozzle. And this nozzle is a variable cross section passage through which the water would be passed. Then after that, after the nozzle, here we have a turbine runner or these are called as the buckets which are attached to this turbine runner. The water which is transferred from the nozzle would be striking these buckets and therefore the turbine runner would be rotated and once the turbine runner rotates we get the output work. Next what happens here is since the gross head is a maximum value we can see that there is another head which is called as net head. So net head is less than the gross head and why it is less due to friction here we can see there is head loss. So this is the head loss which is due to friction. So it means when the water passes from the dam or the head race through the pen stock there will be the head loss due to friction due to the length of the pipe and the more is the length of the pipe the more would be the head loss due to friction and it the head loss due to friction also depends upon the material of the pipe. So more amount of roughness more amount of friction would be there and net head will go on decreasing. So here we can see there is some loss in the head. Now if there is some loss in the head that would result in the loss in kinetic energy because the whole principle here is the conversion from potential energy to kinetic energy. So when the water would be entering it enters at a greater amount of velocity there is conversion from potential to kinetic inside the pen stock and at the nozzle we can see there is variable passage. Now nozzle is that cross section which is continuously reducing in diameter as we can see here and inside the nozzle suppose if the fluid or the water enters at pressure P1 and with a velocity V1 at the exit of the nozzle the pressure is P2 and the velocity is V2. So nozzle is that passage of varying cross section in which the pressure goes on decreasing and the velocity goes on increasing because the relation between pressure and velocity are inversely proportional to each other. So pressure is inversely proportional to velocity. So inside the nozzle there is a drop in pressure and if there is drop in pressure there is increase in the velocity of the liquid which is passing through this nozzle and when the velocity increases the kinetic energy increases because it is given by 
the kinetic energy is half mv square so if the pressure energy loses or if it gets less then the kinetic energy increases due to the increase in velocity and that water would be striking these buckets also called as the vanes which are attached to this turbine runner and when the water strikes the buckets it will it would start rotating as we can see in this diagram it is rotating in an anti clockwise direction and here at the center we have a shaft so we are getting the work output at this shaft and this shaft would be connected to a generator and in the generator there would there would be conversion of mechanical energy into electrical energy and in this way the power generation takes place that is starting from the head race the potential energy of the fluid is tremendous or it is very high that potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy and at the turbine runner we are getting the rotation or the shaft work when the shaft rotates that same work is transferred to the generator where the conversion of mechanical work takes place into electrical energy and we are, we are producing electricity with the help of this hydroelectric power plant so that is the application here we are having a wheel this wheel is used in order to change the flow rate of water which is passing through the nozzle it means this wheel acts as a regulating mechanism it would regulate the quantity of water so accordingly the speed of the runner can be adjusted according to the requirement and after the work has been produced the water falls inside this part which is called as the tail race and tail race we are having of increasing cross section because at the outlet we would be getting huge amount of velocity of the fluid so we have to increase the cross section so that the velocity decreases and the pressure energy increases so that is why we have a tail race where the water gets collected after the work has been produced so in short that was a description of a layout of hydraulic power plant at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you'll can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching